Yes, and for all of those wonderful spring celebrations coming up, it's a great time to try something new to feed a crowd. How about a grazing board with a, a twist or two? Megan Ruffles has a food and entertaining blog with innovative ideas, and Miss Megan's here today in her spring finery <laughs> to, uh, to get us ready for this. This is such a pretty, like um, a colorful, festive way to go. Yeah, and I always feel like this time of year, people are starting to think about the holidays that are in the springtime. We've there are a lot of springtime holidays. Mm -hmm. um, so currently right now we have Easter this weekend and then if you're watching on a re-air we have all the May stuff. Yep. Mother's, Mother's Day, Day all Memorial the, yes, Day. Yes, all the graduation parties. Yep. And th is there anything more colorful than putting on a fruit board? Exactly. Yeah. So I always find that the key to creating a beautiful board is variety. So you want to have a variety of colors, you want to have a variety of food items, mm -hmm. and you can create this by simply cutting your fruits, your veggies, your meats and cheeses, whatever it is, into different ways. So okay. I've got an example here. These kiwi mm -hmm. Look, it looks pieces. Like, it looks like <laughs> Those are so popular right now. So an is easy, easy to do? So easy. So okay. all you have to do is take your kiwi, take your knife, and you're really just going to cut a zigzag pattern into it just like that. So once you go all the way around. If you're not good with knives, <laughs> do not hurt yourself. No. So, and then it comes right apart. So once. show me again. We're, we're going to get a shot of this. So, so put it right there. There you so go. So we're going to pretend this is. So you cut it open like an Easter so, egg in yeah, a zigzag. Exactly. Oh, cool. So you cut that open. You've got your kiwi. And this just kind of creates something different. different it does. Different texture to add to your board. I'm still supposed to eat this though, right? Go for it, Paula. Well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't mean me right now. But sometimes when you make things real decorative, people wonder if they're supposed to eat it. Yep. Yep, and an easy way to do that is just grab the kiwi and eat it with a spoon. So okay. you don't have to peel it or do anything fancy. If you're not familiar with blood oranges, look how nice they look because that color just, again, the color. It pops. It pops, yeah. So, and I like how you did the different cuts and then you kind of stacked them and layered them in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to try and create like that texture look to it. So mm -hmm. you've got bunches of strawberries, you've got your slices of orange, you can do big hunks of fruit, the kiwi, and then the other thing you can do is create uh, a rose with your citrus, oh. um, which is so easy to do. You just need a little bowl or a ramekin. And then you take your... Look at that. It's a grapefruit rose. Exactly. So, so it slices. It slices. It's just the way you lay them in the little yep. Uh, bowl. Yep. All you have to do is then just kind of layer these in. And you just keep layering. That's a cool way to do it. Rather yeah. than laying them all out flat yep. or just throwing them in a bowl. Now, again, this is for a party, mm -hmm. uh, a get-together. Yep. And you can make it... You can make it look fancy and it's not work. Exactly. Really, not really. And you can even buy a pre-made, you know, those big plastic party trays sure. with fruits and veggies and just arrange it on a board. Arrange them on a board. So here's one. So we're, we're going to take a look at some of these pictures yeah. from, from your blog. So there's what we just did. Now there's how you can add pastries. Yes. So who doesn't love a donut, right? Oh, put, <laughs> have a donut board, folks. Yes, yes. I have a feeling if you put that out, Megan, only the donuts would be gone, right? <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> maybe, right? Depending on who your guests are. Yeah. Um, so a previous pi previous picture there, we saw uh, some some veggies and dip as well. Yeah. So another idea you can do would be a salad board. So basically, you put all the toppings that you're going to have on your salad, and then just serve that salad board alongside your leafy greens and salad dressing, salad and then kind of build your it. own. Like yeah. this. Yes. So so the point is, so you have your um. So you're going to serve a salad. So you have your big bowl of greens, mm -hmm. whether whatever kind you do, just yep. green, green. And then anything on the side, put it on a board rather yep. than little bowls. Yep. So this is great for like people with food allergies or just even picky eaters. Little ones really like this because they can kind of build their own yeah. and make it special. So. Get all those dirty fingers in those bowls. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Um, so these are some of the ideas that, that you're presenting for spring. And um, so your blog in your, you call it mainly a blog? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. How's it going for you? Good. It's going good. Is it? Yeah. I, I love the ideas you have in there. They're very simple um, things that look fancy but that we can all do in our own homes. I really try to stick to everyday items and just do something a little bit different to make it a little fancy, a little something extra, something special. So you're going to be back at the end of the show yeah. and we're going to talk about some some easy kind of centerpieces to do. Mm -hmm. They just to, like kind of dress up the, yes. the look, especially for spring. We're so ready for all the bright colors. Yep. Love and bridal it. showers, baby showers. Yes. We've got a lot ahead of us. On Facebook, she is the chicish chick. 
And uh, boy, you've been doing that for a while now, Megan. I think your stuff is really cool. Thank and you. Uh, look, you got your fall stuff out there for yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Time it, to update my photo. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, it's, it's for all seasons. Yeah. Megan is a, a gal for all seasons. Yeah. All right, we'll see you later. Thank you. Uh, when we come back.